Waalaikumsalam warahmatullah. Alhamdulillah. Sorry, Sheikh. Just now the line was not so clear, but now better. Alhamdulillah. Better. How about the screen? The screen is okay. Our picture is okay. Yes, I think yeah, this is okay. Is this your first time doing IG live, Sheikh? Yeah. <laughs> Masha, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. We feel so blessed to be able to do this with you. Welcome to Instagram, Sheikh. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah, this is the technology today. Allah, yeah. Amazing, Alhamdulillah. So there's quite a number of people watching us live now. I think there's about 180 people. Alhamdulillah. And Allah. Uh, I have uh, quite a number of questions to ask you, Sheikh. As, uh, okay. as of course, you all know, Ramadan is uh, in just a few days. And so I think everyone is quite having, having some mixed feelings, you know. Some are excited, some are a bit nervous, some are a bit sad. So I wanted to ask you in terms of um, couples, family members, parents, how do we prepare ourselves, our family and our hearts for upcoming Ramadan? Maybe some tips, Jay. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Now firstly, we as Muslim, we always prepare ourselves. The preparation always comes from the heart. We know that this year, there will be a lot of changes because of the environment of COVID-19, stay home with your family. So, of course, there's a lot of changes. The changes is because, number one, we in our area, the New Santara, so-called, have a very unique way of celebrating. Number one example, we have Bazaar Ramadan. <laughs> yeah, you go to the West or Middle East, you don't have that. Only here you have Bazaar Ramadan. And also Buffet Ramadan. Then we will go to the mosque and break our fast together. So we have a lot of these extra activities. Mm. But this year, Alhamdulillah, Allah yeah, have planned better for us actually. Mm -hmm. That we spend more time at home. The important thing, I think, is our heart. Our heart must be ready. That our the reason we are fasting because of Allah. Mm -hmm. The niyat number one. That's why when you talk about fasting, you talk about iman. Iman is here in the heart. Nothing to do just eating, drinking, abstaining from food and drink and all, no, no, but it's the heart. Mm -hmm. The heart must be sincere and we must have the right intention mm -hmm. that we are doing for the sake of Allah. Mm -hmm. And then this year gives us another extra opportunity to strengthen the family value. We are breaking fast together in the family. We are praying Qiyam Ramadan, Lord as Taraweh, together in the family. I believe, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a unique feeling. Mm -hmm. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Yeah. So if our heart is clear and then we have the right knowledge, then Alhamdulillah, we will uh, maximize, yeah, the significant or the benefit of Ramadan this year. Okay, Alhamdulillah. But Shaykh, you know, uh, since MCO, there's nowhere to go. And sometimes within a family unit, there might be some, you know, stress. Maybe sometimes, you know, some members may get angry. And, uh, you know, there's some tension in the house. Uh, so in terms of, of this, how can we manage ourselves? in this situation and also in Ramadan? Now, we know that the strongest Muslim is not because no, he is strong physically, no, he is a wrestler, a bodybuilder, no. The Prophet said a strong Muslim is a person who can control his temper, his anger. Of course, they say hung, hungry people is always very angry. Yes, the same. Hungry people as angry people. So when coming on Ramadan, of course, you have extra challenges. And then those who are not used to stay at home, most of us like to stay out. And then we like to, you know, breakfast even outside with the mosque, with the friend. 
in the hotel. But now this year, we are talking about our iman and the family. Mm. Like what Allah said, Ya yuhallazina amana o you who believe in Allah, save your soul and your family. No, everything must start from ourselves and then our family. The anger will come, of course. Those who are not used to be in a family, looking at each other almost in and out every day. <laughs> and now they have, Allah, Allah is testing us. Mm. We say, we love our family. So this is the best time for us to share you know, our feeling. It's time for us to engage, actually, to talk, to communicate. There are a lot of people who are together now, stay at home, but they still don't communicate. Mm -hmm. You see, because they're not used to it. So we should. Both sides. Sometimes the men like to communicate. The sisters they are not used to it. They are so used to be alone without the husband. Now suddenly the husband is there every day. Yeah. So something <laughs> the best from both sides. Mm -hmm. But we must uh, grab the opportunity yeah, to break this you know, this uh, silence it's time for us to talk and also Ramadan is about Quran mm -hmm. is about us about Quran Allah said that in the month of Ramadan we have revealed all the holy scripture Shah Ramadan Quran example the prophet said not only Quran was revealed in Ramadan even the Torah the Old Testament the Injil all the Zabsuhub Ibrahim was revealed in the month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So outside of Ramadan, normally for you to recite the Quran, very difficult. Yeah? The challenge is great. But this year, I believe that we will have the opportunity to read the Quran and finish the Quran, not only by recitation, even going through the meaning. Okay. Okay. And I believe there will be a lot of benefit yeah, mm -mm. among the family members. MashaAllah. So inshallah, we're going to, me and Nob will inshallah try our best to read more Quran together. That's one of our goals oh, yeah. for Ramadan this year, inshallah. Uh, which we never did much before, kan? So, yeah. uh, alhamdulillah, uh, being at home, I think, like you said, Sheikh, really gives a good opportunity for us to connect with the Quran. And in fact, we have, uh, you know, we, we cannot run away. There is no excuse. We cannot say, excuse. oh, I've got work now. I have meeting here. <laughs> <laughs> Lockdown. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. inshallah, blessing, a big blessing, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Sheikh, I want Everything. to ask. Oh. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Everything happened. We as a believer, we accept that Allah knows best. Everything happened for a reason. And everything, there is a wisdom behind it for the believers. And this is very important. This good feeling we should develop. Positive feeling. Yes, you can continue. You are going to ask me something just now. Ah, yeah, so Shay, you're saying positive feelings. So you're talking about Quran, and then I wanted to ask you about uh, praying uh, Qiyam or, or uh, Taraweeh prayers together as a family. Uh, perhaps you can share with us some tips as well, because I'm quite excited uh, how we can do that together and also how to do it uh, as Sunnah, following, following yeah. the Sunnah. Now, Alhamdulillah. Now, we remember the saying of our Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet said, Man soma Ramadana imana wa hisaban khufira lahu mataqadun izzabdi. And he continued to say again, Wa man soma Ramadana imana wa hisaban khufira lahu mataqadun izzabdi. Meaning, whoever fast in the month of Ramadan with the right iman, not feeling as a burden, or no, why suddenly I, I am abstaining myself from halal food, halal drink, but did it for the sake of Allah. And hope for Allah's blessing, Allah is sure to forgive all our past sins. And whoever stand at night to pray, Qiyam Ramadan, known to the majority, Taraweh prayer. Mm -hmm. With the right intention, not being pressured, because Taraweh, you must remember, it's not wajib. 
If a person don't want to pray, no sin upon them. But highly recommend to perform this prayer and the Prophet also encouraged us to do it in the Jama'ah. But if you go back to the Qiyam in the time of the Prophet, he prayed three nights in the mosque. He didn't invite anybody to join him. He just started his prayer. Then Sahaba saw him and joined him. The second night, more came and joined. The third night, the whole mosque was full. The fourth night, he decided not to come up to the masjid to pray anymore. He finished all the Qiyam at home with the family. Why? Number one, he do not want to burden his Ummah. Mm -hmm. Because Salat to Trave, you can perform not necessarily immediately after Isha prayer. No. In the mosque, you do it immediately after Isha because everybody is there. But at home, you can take your time. You can delay until 10 p.m. No problem. And you can pray, say, take a break. You fall, you can pray two and two and then take a break. Have some snack. No, you can do it at home, but in the mosque, you cannot stop. If you oh. stop, then it's difficult. Oh, we can you take see? a break in between, yeah, Sheikh? Oh, yes. You want to drink, have a cup of... Yeah, you want to have some snack, you know, coffee. You may have some biscuit here and then, some durian there, no problem. Mm, mashallah. You said no rush. That's why Taraweh prayer is not a rush prayer. Mm. And whatever the Imam, their husband can be the Imam, and then if you have an, a son who is big enough, also he can train him to lead the prayer. But important is to perform Taraweh with Tumaknina, recitation with Tumaknina, Tertib, and also the movement. Don't rush. Okay. You see, sometimes through our experience, when come to Ramadan, the Isha prayer was normal, normal speed. The Sunnah prayer or the, the Isha also normal speed. Come to Trave, we change the, the, the gear now. Oh, from gear for gear to fifth gear. So fast. <laughs> that, that should not be the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our Prophet wants us to recite Al Fatiha at least six times. You pause. Don't write, don't join. You is highly recommend to recite Surat Al Fatiha. Waqaf, waqaf. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alami, waqaf. Al Rahman Al Rahim, waqaf. Until the end. You don't have to continue. Why? Because every ayat in Surah Al-Fatiha, Allah is responding to our prayer. It is a two-way communication. But very strange. When it comes to travel, we change the speed. And then when it comes to Vitir, back to normal again. Ah. So that, that is not the way of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. MashaAllah, that's a very good tip, Sheikh, to just slow yeah, down. Now, some people want to complete the recitation, the whole Quran in one month when they are performing Taraweh. It's not necessary. If you memorize, you do it. If you don't, do what you have memorized. Yeah, because Allah wants to make things simple for us. Why do you make your life difficult? Mm -hmm. You want to finish the Quran, you can finish outside of the prayer. Mm -hmm. But if you memorize and go, you do it. Okay. Mm. But Shay, can, can, I also, can I also ask you, if it's uh, in, the, in the Kiya Mutaraweh, and let's say we didn't memorize the surah we want to read, can we read from the Quran? Can we put yeah, it there in front of us? Yeah, their opinion from scholars is okay because it's a sunnah prayer, you know. Mm -hmm. When you go back to the Sunnah of the Prophet, we know the Prophet never used the Quran. He don't read. Whatever that he memorized, that's what he will recite. Okay. We know that in the time of the Prophet, when the Prophet was alive, Quran was not been found in a book yet. All is just the Hebrew sending to the Prophet, the Prophet recite, the, the, the rest memorized. 
Mm-hmm. So if a person said you know, they they want to put a Quran because that will help them, and then now your focus is not there. Allah want you to be focused, kushok in the prayer. Kushok means your movement, your focus, your concentration, and also you should understand what you are reciting. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that opinion say okay. But uh, to me, I personally, I don't recommend. Okay. Because oh, no. we are in- have to memorize. <laughs> yeah, good, good. So it means we need to memorize more Quran in Ramadan. Inshallah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I bought... Even what you have memorized, if you don't keep on reciting, you may forget very easy. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah. do whatever you can. And if you want to recite more, then you start to memorize more. Okay, mashallah. Actually, this is very good for us because we're so used to just standing behind the imam and just rely mm-hmm. on the imam, and then we yeah. go home. Don't we don't actually uh, memorize by our, our, on our own? So this yeah. is actually something very good, right? Mm-hmm. Mashallah. Even even would, even if it's short surah. Yeah, even I would highly recommend in the future that in the, this month when everybody is at home, you spend more time. Okay. If you can recite the Quran by yourself and you go through the meaning by yourself, good. Or you can do a kind of group uh, recitation. No, that means we recite one and then we all stop for one after one hundred ayat. Now let us recite the meaning because recitation of the Quran you get reward. But if you don't understand, you just get the reward of recitation. But with understanding, you develop the kushok in your prayer, mm. Mm. and then after you know what you Allah want you to do through the Quran, because the Quran is a speech of Allah. Allah is talking to us. What Allah want us to do, what Allah said, don't do. All is in the Quran. Mm. It's a divine guidance. When you have the understanding, you feel very deep, <laughs> and then easy for you to implement because you understand. If you don't understand Quran, it's just a book. Mm, so this you is just recite for the people. Yeah. So it, it's also so important improve. for us to listen to lectures as well, so we understand what yes. what saying. Yes. We have to move to the the next level. Mm. Not only reciting and reciting, but now with understanding. Alhamdulillah. So when you understand. Now we can share the message of Islam with other people. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I show you one example, brothers uh, yeah, and sister Ina. If you meet up with the not yet Muslim, the Christian, yeah, and then they talk about you know we believe in Virgin Mary, then you say, "Wow, we Muslim in the Quran have a chapter talking about Virgin Mary, Surah Maryam." Mm-hmm. And we cannot be a Muslim if we don't believe in Virgin Mary. Example, you yes. only can share this when you understand. Mm-hmm. If you don't understand, you are talk and then you just listen, and we cannot respond mm-hmm. okay, to how they express themselves about Virgin Mary and also about Jesus. And when they talk about this, oh, you know, in the Quran we also talk about Jesus. Yes. Example. This is very important. Right, subhanAllah. So, whatever it is that we understand about Quran, just share it with people, inshaAllah. We have to change. Because there is the adapt. First, we learn how to read. Second, we learn how to understand. Mm-hmm. Then, with the third one, we learn how to implement it. Mm-hmm. Try our best to follow. Last one, we must share with others. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mashallah. And this is perfect, Sheikh, because uh, being on online, on internet, on Instagram, this is the best place to share as well since we cannot go out anywhere. Yeah, Allah. And I would like to remind a lot of people, in the month of Ramadan, everybody will be tested. Allah is going to test us also. How did Allah test us? Because we understand that fasting is just abstaining from food, drink, maybe smoking, intimacy with husband and wife, but it is not just that. Mm-hmm. 
is to abstain from everything that displeases Allah. Backbiting, gossiping, lying. No, we still have people who are, who are fasting, but they still gossip. They still create fitna. They backbite each other. That is not, yeah? Mm -hmm. What we must do is time for us to reflect. Nobody is perfect. We are trying to become a better Muslim. And the reason Allah wants us to fast, Allah make it very clear not to burden us. Allah says, Ya yuhal lazina amanu kutiba alaykum musyam kama kutiba alay lazina min qabdikum la allakum tataku. That is the reason. Mm -hmm. The whole idea about fasting is to not to make our life difficult. But so that we attain taqwa. Mm -hmm. you no, know, our connection with Allah is so good. That anything Allah don't like, we also stay away. Anything Allah like us to do, we love to engage ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if not, you know, angry people, you talk, they scold, and then they shout, they scream. All this is not, uh, is not what fasting wants us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Allah, Sheikh. So when we when we fast, we're 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 fasting not just like you said from food and drink, but it's also from all of the things that. Uh, Allah does not like, so we have to make sure we yeah. keep away. From it. Is that also a way of purifying the heart when we when we do this when we fast? Oh, of course, of course. that is the number number one. Yeah, thing that we must focus is about our heart. Everything starts from here. No, so and that's that is why Allah will look into that. That's why the Prophet said, Inna mal a'malu bin niyat. Talk about niyat, you talk about the heart. Everything when Allah and the Prophet talk about niyat, heart. That's why even Allah said, Remember the day will come, yawm la yanfa'u malun wa la banun. The day will come to every one of us. Even your property, your wealth, and all your children that is with you cannot benefit you anymore. Except... Man atallah di qalbin salim. Whoever come back to Allah with a very peaceful and submission, uh, a submitted heart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They learn how to submit themselves to Allah. Mm -hmm. When you have that feeling, Oh Allah, we came from you. To you, we were written. Everything we have is from you. Nothing belongs to us. Every single thing that we have belongs to us. Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. Now then you will feel a lot of peace. And that's why our Prophet also talked about the heart. He said, Allah fi jasada ibn Adam mudra is a soluha. Soluha jasada kullu wa iza fasada. Fasada jasada kullu wa huwa wa hiya fiqa wa huwa al-qul. He said, in the body of, of all of us, yeah, in a human body, there is one yeah, piece of flesh. If this flesh is positive, clean, good, all the faculty become positive. But if this is negative, corrupted, everything turns yeah, negative. That is the heart. That is the heart. We can know actually. You see, Islam always said, if you want to know whether you have a good heart, good feeling, the Prophet said, you cannot be a true believer until you love to give your fellow brother or sister what you love for yourself. Mm -hmm. We want to be respected. We want to be honored. We want people to praise us, to talk good about us. Mm -hmm. The same thing that we should do this to others. Always have good feeling, good thoughts. Ramadan can help us, sure to help us. Why? You know, shaitan is always there to mislead us, to whisper, yeah, to whisper to us, uh, and then start to have negative feeling. But then the Prophet said, when Ramadan come in, Futihat Abu Abbasama, the gate of paradise, the Rahma is open. Hellfire is closed. Well, sul, sul sayati. Shaitan is being chained. Mm. 
So, so no more shaitan. <laughs> it's just like no more shaitan. The real shaitan is not active, inactive. But remember, 11 months shaitan is working on us. Hmm. And Ramadan, he will be chained, he will take rest, we will represent him. Mm-hmm. Like even Ramadan, you can see a lot of bad things happening. You see, yes. it's, it's, been, it's been changed. How can people say this person is doing satanic thing? And because we are representing him. Min al nati wan nas. Remember in Surah An Nas, there are two kind of whisper: the whisper from the jinn shaitan and also from human. We become the enemy of Satan. Subhanallah. Without we realizing. That's why you see people still get angry. The people who want to steal, they still steal. They want to do anything. They want to gossip. They still gossip. Mm-hmm. They, they have allowed themselves to be the tools of Satan. Subhanallah. May Allah protect them. Mm, subhanallah. So, Shaykh, um, I'm very excited with you telling us about Ramadan and how Satan is all locked up and how, inshallah, we are aiming for taqwa, we are aiming for a heart that is pure, to stay away from the bad and to keep doing the good. So, just I think another two or three more days to Ramadan. Yes. Um, yeah, so so should we, um, perhaps you can just give us uh, one or two more tips uh, to how we can have the best beginning and inshallah maybe how we can maintain and hopefully have a good ending in Ramadan as well, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, the Because most important thing we, we go in and we're like, wow, so strong. And then later on, it's like, okay, everyone gets very lazy. And then, you know, it kind of fizzles out. Yeah. Yeah. But I think this year, yeah, it's a better Ramadan for all of us. Because, I mean, of, I mean. Yeah, because we cannot move out. We don't travel outside. We are locked down. So we are at home. No. no, I believe in that. I believe that when something happens, Allah is preparing us yeah, to become a better person. You know, so what is important is, like I said, our intention, are we going to change? Everybody must ask themselves, am I going, am, am I going to change in this? So if you have that intention, Allah should sure help us. But then you follow the rule. You follow the discipline. Example, make sure that Ramadan, we don't miss Sahur. And there is the prayer. Yeah, Sahur time is very powerful. Mm-hmm. So we are not going to ask. Yeah, there is the difference between our past and the other people because we have Sahur. There is Barakah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then don't miss the recitation of the Quran. I will remind a lot of our brothers and sisters who are at home. All of us have our gadget. We have all the internet. We have all the the the, the astro is still active. It's yeah. time for us to let all of these things rest. Okay, just open the Quran. It's time for all this to rest. Because if you entertain that, you have no time to finish the program. Mm-hmm. You see? Okay. And then don't forget the iftar also. The iftar, the Prophet left us to break our fast immediately. Don't delay. And I highly recommend it to have ablution before iftar. Okay. Remember, iftar is not dinner. Not dinner. Dinner <laughs> after dinner. Ah, yes. Don't eat too much. <laughs> yeah, because if you say dinner in Islam, in the Arabic name for dinner is Asha. When iftar is not just breakfast, something like, if those want to have date, Alhamdulillah, those who are not used to date, you go to, you have some uh, local fruits like papaya, bananas, you know, all these are, uh, Uh, high, high fiber, sweet, and good for digestion. That is the beginning. 
then we start with that. Okay. And then alhamdulillah quickly you pay all my great and then you have a good deal. And also we pray may Allah make it easy for all of us to be more kind to help the poor and the needy in the month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To reach sure. out, to feed the poor if possible. You see, we this year, we have planned. And Khadim is planning to reach out to give to send uh, uh, at least 200 or 200 more uh, pack of food for people to break their past. Mm. We are trying. The more we we get the support from our our jama'ah, then we will reach out to more people. We are starting to negotiate with the cook, with the caterer and everything. We are doing it now. Oh, wow. Soon, inshallah. Amazing. Yeah, because it's good. Giving sadaqah, letting people, because you know people used to go to the mosque, get bubur lambo, yeah? Bubur lambo, yes. free one. Yes. Now you cannot go. Nobody is going to cook because you are not allowed. Mm -hmm. So it's good that you're trying to make some arrangement and then you will make the arrangement to send to the people who need. Yeah? Because this lockdown, a lot of people are not working. Yeah, you have a lot of other problems. So we are trying to reach out to more people. So whoever like to contribute to us, we are kind. You know? Whoever you let us can 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 communicate with us so that we can do more together to help the poor and the MashaAllah. I would, I, would I would love to do that as well, Sheikh. And I hope everyone who's watching now can also find out more information on how they can help and contribute to al Qadim and also your very noble cause in helping feed people in the month of Ramadan as well. InshaAllah. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh, for all of your tips and motivation. I feel so excited for Ramadan. How about you? Alhamdulillah. We hope all the brothers, people, the family, yeah, all of them will be under Allah's protection in this month. Amin. And may Allah give us wisdom and inner peace. Yeah? That inshallah, all of us will finish the Quran this year. Amin, Ya Rab. Amin, Ya Rab. May Allah accept it from us and may Allah reward you, Sheikh, and keep your family Amin. healthy and safe and have the best Thank Ramadan. All of you. Yeah. And the same we pray for everyone who is watching this program. You know? May Allah accept our deeds, forgive all our sin, and make us spiritually, yeah, mentally, bodily ready for Ramadan and the world. Ameen, Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen, Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah. Thank you so much, Jazakallah, Heer Sheikh, for doing this IG Live with us. It's, very, it's a big honor because this is uh, also your first time. InshaAllah, there'll be more from you. For IG Live? Inshallah. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Assalamualaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.